What's going on guys? It's Kuday here and today we have a part two which is going to go over Lizard Noob Cybots. Brutality? Oh, not sorry, not brutality. Uh, because I think he could if they added him to the combat pass eventually. But looking at the actual combat pass, because we can actually see it now, um, you can see here you get Scorpion at the end. So if they do this for golds that are new, then you could actually get new golds. The only problem is it's money only. So the only way to get these rewards is by paying for premium. So you'll get 10 tiers instantly for $20. And if you buy $10, then you get to have any of these tiers in general. To buy the tiers, it's 16,000 souls to buy all of them at once, which I do plan to do. And I also plan to show you all the rewards and Scorpion at Max Fusion with his brutality and all that stuff. But for now, I just want to go over the Lizard Noob Cybot gameplay because Lizard Noob Cybot is pretty insane. We also have to fix my uh, Raiden gameplay because it wasn't good. I'm trying to get a better matchup, by the way. Let me just do that. Okay, no, my classic movie Raiden gameplay was good. It's just that I missed a certain part of his passive. So if you hold down on the screen with a the tap, then you get to accumulate Thunderstorm energy. And you could take 30% of their health if they're not a boss, which is why I want to try that now. But I also wanted to play Lizard Noob Cybot. So let's actually show off Lizard Noob Cybot, because <laughs> you guys are probably here for that. They chose the green version, not the blue, because I'm sure there was a blue and a green version of, li of Lizard Noob Cybot. And you can see here it's called Shadow Juggler. Lizard Noob Cybot gains shadow en energy every time he spends or loses his power. When he gains a full bar of shadow energy, shadow attacks become available. This attack allows him to choose any opponent as a target uh, and inevitably apply snare to them. If a tagged out opponent has been chosen, Noob Sabat forces them to enter the fight through the portal. Ooh. Upon defeating an opponent, Lizard Noob Sabat can summon a teammate of his choice back to life with 20% of their max HP. The number of summons is limited to the number of lizard characters on the team. So there's one lizard character on my team, which is Lizard uh, Baraka, of course, which is also fully maxed out. Speaking of, shouldn't we show his feats of strength off? Yeah, so this is the last feats of strength. Obviously, we're not going to play it because you're about to see it, so I don't want to spoil that yet. Here's this. So that's the icon for that one. Okay, the icons are pretty standard. Yeah, all right. Well... I think we should start playing with them. The thing is, though, we have to kill off a character or have a character killed off, and I won't uh, make you see that, of course. Um, I'm just more interested about this portal that he uses to summon the characters back in. So there should be some sort of shadow energy that I'm going to see when I get into this battle. Yes, I have noticed the graphics are not good. I don't know what happened. Also, why I put Lizard Baraka at the beginning, I have no idea. That was not a good idea. <laughs> so where's the shadow bar? There's like a shadow bar that it was referring to. Oh, there it is, right there, right next to the special three. There's a shadow bar, and I'm sure once that gets to full, which you have to, do you have to play the whole time. Maybe we should give him equipments that will automatically get him there. Unless, can he even be automatically ported over to special three? I don't know. You can summon a teammate though. Oh, what the heck? I think we just did a brutal ending, like combo ender. That was weird. So looking so far at his combo enders, he is super good. Like these combo enders are much better than um, classic Noob Sabot, which can easily be interrupted. Of course, we don't, we don't, uh, sorry, we do have a block breaker on him. Oh gosh. Are we dead? We're dead already. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, we didn't even get to look at his SP3. I don't know why it used that. I didn't want it to, but now it did. It's all right though. Okay, we're gonna use this P2, and hopefully she her shield still goes on. Okay, now we can drain her health. So let's see. Long, tap, and hold the screen. That's what we're supposed to do. All right, interesting. Your fate is decided. That's so good. Oh wait, yeah, we haven't shown off classic Raiden's feats of strength. I meant to do that, but then I didn't, so things just didn't get done. What's this one? 
Boring. Why don't you show the one that's like where he zooms in on the camera and goes blah? You showed that one in the trailer. Why didn't you show that one here? Also, why is the lightning red? Come on, guys. Are you that lazy? <laughs> okay. Lizard Baraka is still in the first slot for some reason, but it's okay. Because we just switch right over to Lizard Noob Saibot. The lag isn't as bad as before because I did run the game for a little bit. It seems that when I run the game for a little bit, it kind of gets rid of a lot of the lag problems. So right now I'm just trying to get to that shadow bar. Probably should show his SP2 off though. I'll have to look at how it's earned because I'm a little confused how it's earned at the moment. Oh no, come on. Okay, shadow bar is completely up. Now we can see an option here. Health left, health left. We can tag either one in. But how do we revive a teammate though? Hmm. I'll have to relook on how to revive a teammate. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Let's use SP3. Is it going to be different? No, it's not. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, nice. We can revive a character now. Um, let's revive Lizard Baraka because he's a lizard character after all, right? We get to use it again. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's use SP2 to show it off now. So here is SP2 on Lizard Noob Sidebot. It's awesome. Look at this. Why do they make these gold cards? It feels like they spent way more time on Lizard Noob Sidebot than they actually did on Classic Movie Raiden. I'm not gonna lie. Don't don't get me wrong. I like Classic Movie Raiden, but Lizard Noob Sidebot is by far ten times better. His passive is amazing it sounds so epic classic movie raiden just kills the opponent off way too quickly before you can use sp2 i guess on a boss that could actually work but only 10 percent might not be enough i don't really know how much it does to a to a boss character so we're gonna have to see that okay here we go also mk11 sub-zero and mk11 raiden now have different uh things changed about them. So number one, MK11 Raiden has a new sound effect and MK11 Sub-Zero has a new combo ender, which is really freaking cool. We might actually use it in this video. I think next game we're going to use MK11 Sub-Zero so we can show off the new combo ender. But let's use new, new Cybot against this team. Just since Lizard Baraka isn't the focus of this video, I don't really care that I'm putting him in the first slot because we're not even going to be playing him for most of the game. Oh, Team Frostbite, are you kidding me? Forgot he was going to do that. Okay, we're already gaining the purple. Oh yeah, I was supposed to read that, wasn't I? Ooh, boy. Probably should have. I love his model, by the way. It's so cool. Now we're going to use SP1 again. See what kind of damage we do. Oh, that looked brutal. Let's do it without doing that animation. Okay, are we going to die? No, we're not. Just barely. Okay, we'll use SP1. Maybe we cause... Cripple, cripple, cripple. Dang, again. Yes, nice cripples applied. Let's use the Shadow Juggler. Use it on Raiden. I know it's more sensible to use it on... Uh... Oh, does it go through a block? I don't think it does. Nope. These combo winners are so good. Okay, do it again. You're dead, son. You are so dead. Tag out. Let's use SP2. Let's see if we can get this to not be too much this time. Oh my gosh, never mind. They added a lot of saturation to the end screens and stuff. I don't think that was meant to be like that. Like, I think the saturation and color changes, I think that was intentional, and it does look pretty cool in some areas. In some areas, it's like, eh, kind of looks weird. Things just feel a little bit more zoomed in and have a different feel to them. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that the lag and stuff, I definitely do not think that is intentional. I don't know what is going on with that. It's something to do with the hardware... Uh, devices. The profiles are the graphics. So I think their graphics are just messed up. Okay. So we're not fighting a diamond team, but that's okay. It's okay. Let's use rate. Never mind. Oh, but you let me use the shadow juggler. I think it's just when the opponents do damage to you that you get to use the shadow juggler. Let's take him out. 
Okay. Block. Oh, Cripple comes in right as I even get my special attacks back. Ugh. Wish we could fight a Hanzo that's been ascended, but I don't think anyone's going to be ascending him anytime soon. I will be doing a video on that, though. Ooh. Why? This is madness. SP2. Finish him off. Your fate is decided. Amazing. Well, um, Lizard Noob Sabot has been played, and I think we've done a pretty decent job playing him so far. Uh, let's just go look back on how he gets the energy one more time. So we gain Shadow Energy every time he spends or loses his power. Oh, my bad. I see. So anyone who power drains you is going to immediately get your thing up. So if you go against the power draining team, you can easily destroy them with this card. And then also, you can um, use your own power, and then it goes up. So let's do that in practice one more time. We are blind, though. So if you use SP1 back to back to back to back, you might be able to get your um, shadow energy up. So let's get that up. Yep, see, it starts to go up much faster when I do that, <laughs> instead of doing basic attacks the whole game. I used SP3 already. I know that. It's unfortunate they didn't do a new X-Ray for him. I don't think there is a new X-Ray. Because Noob Saibot was reintroduced in MK11, which is what they're going off of. Holy crap. That hurts. I don't know why they didn't give Lizard Baraka his new X-Ray, though. That was weird. Why they still use the MK9 version. So let's use SP2. And just see how much damage it does. All the health? <gasps> Not all the health. Oh, he's vulnerable. Oh, that was definitely some vulnerability right there. If they get out of the bubble quickly, that's the problem. Okay, let's do it again. Nice, he's get he's got invulnerability, so we get to test this on him twice. Oh god, do it again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, just to make absolute certain... Yeah, his x-ray is still MK9. Why? Okay, well, I think the last thing I'm going to do here is show off his paid pack and play with MK11 Sub-Zero. So first off, let's bring out uh, some MK11. What, what does Lizard Baraka do again? Our world teammates... Wait, is he outworld? Yeah, he is. Okay, good. They made him outworld. <laughs> He's a lizard character, so I was like, what the heck? Active opponent's healing is reduced by 25% for each lizard character on the team. So now it's 50% that they aren't going to be healing as much. Dang. Ascension's not available for this character. Probably Ascension's not available for this character. How about Hanzo? Ascend. So it's just a little card you get, right? Interesting. We will be ascending them. I just... I don't know about that. It's just weird. Okay, let's put Raiden and Sub-Zero. So I can show off the differences between these two. Okay, so number one... Let's use SP1, so I can show off what the difference is. So here, listen. Okay, let's just use SP2. Destroy him. How much damage does that do? Oh, nice damage. Okay, he's gonna use SP2, but it's not gonna kill me, right? No, it's not, but I'm gonna get slowed. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. His combo under now is like Circle Shadow Sub-Zero. I love that. And now we're dead. So we can use his P2 again. Let's go! Let's revive Raiden because we need to show it off. Oh no! Do it again. Nice. No! No, stop, stop, stop! I beg of you! Wait a minute, there's only one lizard character on the team. Oh, but he got to revive because he's the lizard character. Okay, please! 
Yep, you could hear it right there. He went. <laughs> well, that is going to wrap up this video. Um, we'll have some more gameplay. Classic Tower, Normal, Fatal. Tower 200. Uh, we're also going to show off the battle pass and we're going to do so much more. We're going to stream all sorts of stuff. Just stay tuned for more videos. Let me also give a big shout out to all my YouTube members Overkill80, Jules, Massive Cool, Rosie Slove, obviously, uh, Peril John, Kevo, BB, Nick the Maniac, Metal Crab 3001, Sieges Empire, Grim, Random, Noxon, Seven Zane, Reflex Vital, Fierce Wolf, MK Fire, The Mist, and Relaxation Sound. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, peace out.